Hi guys, I'm Ray from Bake with Ray. Welcome to the Ramadan series. I'll be uploading recipes for Ramadan for the next 30 days, but don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get a notification for every time that I post a recipe. How's everybody doing? Today we're going to make a delicious desi street food recipe called Dehi Bale. This is absolutely delicious and this is a cheat recipe. We're going to start off with some chickpea flour. Yes, chickpea flour, trust me. Cumin powder, garlic powder, ginger powder and some salt. And we're going to mix those together to distribute the spices evenly in the flour. Then we're going to slowly add in our water. I measured out half a cup of water. Now the amount of water totally depends on your chickpea flour and how absorbent it is. So I've roughly given a guideline of half a cup of water, but you may need slightly more or slightly less. Slowly trickle in your water and mix vigorously in between. You want to get to like a thick paste consistency, but you want to make sure that there's absolutely no lumps left in this whatsoever. Because if you have lumps left in there, you're just going to end up with hard dahi pale and you don't want that, okay? So make sure that you mix it really vigorously and there is absolutely no lumps left in your butter. Your butter should be nice and thick like this when it's done and then it should be no lumps at all and put it to the side for about 20 minutes to rest while you prepare the uh, potatoes so for the potatoes you want to put some water in a saucepan to boil add some salt and then put it on the hob to boil whilst your water is boiling you want to peel your potato and dice it into small little cubes just as we do with any regular jar to adding the potatoes is absolutely optional you can leave them out if you want to you can add any kind of vegetables that you like to this really once your water is boiling add in your potatoes bring it to a boil and then allow it to simmer with the lid on until the potatoes are softened while that's happening you want to put some oil on to heat up now that the mixture is rested you want to add in your baking powder and give it a good mix to mix in all that baking powder and make sure it's evenly distributed in your batter the oil should be heated at this point you can check it by adding in one bala first it should puff up really nicely so my oil was a little bit cold at this point i could tell because it didn't puff puff up quickly quick enough so you just want to make sure that your oil is hot enough before you um, add in the rest of your bale you want to prepare a plate with some kitchen paper on to drain them out so just basically you want a tablespoon of butter per a bulla, okay so just repeat this process you want to put a tablespoon of butter in your hot oil your pan should be on like a medium to low heat and fry them for a few minutes until they're nice and golden in color you want to get them nice and golden to make sure that they're thoroughly cooked all the way through if they're not cooked all the way through you'll end up with a hard bit in the middle of your bulla and you don't want that okay so once they're nice and golden you want to leave them to cool completely and drain on the paper towel while they're cooling down down, you, your potatoes should be done at this point drain them rinse them in some cold water to stop them from cooking and allow them to just let the water drain out then you can prepare your yogurt at this point add 500 grams of yogurt to a bowl season that with some sugar and then some salt and some black pepper and some jat masala and then give that a good mix uh, you actually want your yogurt to be pretty thin so mine is kind of thin already but we want to thin it out a little bit more by adding in some milk now the thinness of the yogurt is totally up to your preference some people like it really thin and really runny and some people don't like it as thin or runny so just add milk according to your own preference i'll give a guideline in the description box as usual all the measurements are in the description box of this video guys so check that out then the uh, other vegetables i'm adding in is are some tomatoes cherry tomatoes that i added in and a red onion again diced both of those into really really small fine pieces and then i also made some green chutney by putting in a green chili into a blender and a bunch of fresh mint leaves put them into the blender as well and then added in about a tablespoon of water or two depending on what your blender's like hefty pinch of salt and this is blend that together to form an easy chutney you can also add fresh coriander to this chutney as well if you want to absolutely up to you then when you're ready to put your dish together you want to soak your bullas in some lukewarm water for about 30 seconds you may need to press them down into the water so that and hold them there so that they soak in the water okay squeeze any excess water out and then put them into the 
any kind of tray or serving platter that you're going to put your dainbale in i used a glass dish you can use whatever you like just repeat the process with all your bhalle soak them well and make sure that you squeeze out the excess water top with all your toppings so first i added on my potatoes then my onions and tomatoes again you can swap these out for whatever vegetables you like i actually wanted my balas to show so then i moved them to the top of the chart instead covered with the yogurt that we seasoned earlier and just make sure you spread it out nice and evenly and use it all up at this point you can just put it in the fridge and then when you're ready to serve top it with your chutneys so your green chutney and just spread it out nice and evenly so that there's some in every single bite your imli so just in some imli sauce again just pour it all over the top and then our plum chutney has made an appearance once again i told you guys i absolutely love this stuff from day one from the first recipe the recipe is in there i will link it in the description box below finally add some amama mix or some bombay mix for some crunch this is absolutely optional it just adds a nice little bit of crunch to it and i also wanted to add pomegranate seeds but the pomegranate i bought ended up being horrible so i didn't end up using it and there you have it guys your dahi pale are done absolutely delicious a nice combination of sweet and savory and tangy no waiting overnight for the dal to soak if you enjoyed this recipe don't forget to give it a thumbs up and enjoy